Hi Cancer, welcome to your general forecast for the end of March. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Cancer, I'm going to take a look at the energy around you at this time. It could be love, general, career, finance, whatever comes out, we're just going to take it as it comes. So please only take what resonates, throw away the rest. Please don't try to make it fit. If it's not making sense for you, it's not your reading. You know, stay tuned for future readings or you can go back and watch previous readings and this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter, male or female watching this. Could be past, present, or future. So please keep that in mind. So let's see what's going on with you, Cancer. Welcome, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. So this is a Zodiac Oracle. Get a sign, element, or planet. See what comes out for you. And then I will get an opening message from this deck for you. And then one for your current energy. We'll clarify that energy with the tarot. And then look at your actual situation, whatever comes out here. Advice, possible outcome, extra messages from the healing fairies at the end. And these cards here, I just recently got at the Dollar Tree. I got two uh, sets, mixed them together. They're prayers, but you could also call them call them affirmations. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to pull one of those at the very end for, an, for a prayer or an affirmation. So let's see what's going on, uh, Cancer, for you at this time. And if you like to watch previous readings, I consider them all timeless. Links are below for your general and love playlist, along with the decks I'm using, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading. If you like to tip, donate, send a gift, all that information is in the description box, as well as the pinned topped comment. If you're not comfortable um, exchanging energy or donating or tipping uh, with PayPal during the premiere and only during the premiere, Super Chat is open and available for energy exchanges and tips donations if you choose to. And if you do, thank you. All right, Cancer. Enough of me babbling. So let's see what we have for you, Cancer. What do we have for Cancer? Sign, element, or planet. Let's see how it resonates for you. If you don't resonate with this part, totally fine. For Cancer, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. Just want one. Okay. And we have Pluto, which is Scorpio energy. So Pluto is all about life, death, rebirth, sex, power, and control. So it's all about the basic, basic human cycles of life. <laughs> Basically, life, death, birth, and rebirth, sex, power, and control. Wow. So let's see. And Pluto is 22, which twos are about unity, partnerships, added together four, which is about st stability, foundation. And 22 is four, and Cancer, you're four. Wow. If you add that together, that's eight. And that's about taking action, uh, movement, travel. So I was almost going to show you what's on the bottom of the deck. I don't know. I don't do that with that deck, but <laughs> force a habit, I guess. All right. So Cancer, let's get an opening message for you. Cancer, what's going on with Cancer at this time, Spirit, please? Thank you so much for cancer at this time. One more shuffle. I just want to say cancer, I just recently had the, few of, uh, the flu a few weeks back. I still have a lingering cough and a little bit of congestion. Other than that, I feel fine. But I do cough and I'm trying not to. So if I do cough throughout this reading, I'm just apologizing now in advance for that. And please be patient and bear with me. Any negative comments will be removed. But if I do take a coughing spell or fit, I will edit that out. But all right, so Cancer, what is the opening message for Cancer Spirit, please? Okay, so we have the Ten of Gabriel. This is the Ten of Wands. Ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load, working too many hours, trying too hard to please others. So this is about needing to lay down some heavy burdens here, feeling overwhelmed, overworked overburdened tens are about completions so um something here needs to be let go of either people pleasing or working too much or um <clears throat> lightening your load in some sh way shape or form so that is your opening message so let's see what your energy is and that is fire energy you may be a fiery go-getter you know passionate person who thinks you know feels that, you know, they can do everything for everybody. They can take care of everything. They can, you know, uh, work, work, work kind of energy. But I think it's too much here. So 
What is the energy for Cancer at this time? Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Energy for Cancer, please. All right. That one stuck in my hand. So we have more, more fire energy here. You could be connected with a fire sign. But we have four of Gabriel. Time for a celebration. Abundant rewards for hard work. Release yourself from running some situations. Wow. And that is the Ten of Wands energy. <clears throat> also, so if you're working too much or you're people pleasing too many people or whatever here, it's time to release some of those burdens. And maybe it's affecting your home life, your friends, your family kind of energy, um, your relationship. Because the Four of Wands is about a very stable, grounded home life, relationship. It's also about ceremony, celebrations, marriage, commitment. So you could be married or in a commitment, maybe live together. And whatever else you're doing outside of that, I feel like it's too much. You're spreading yourself too thin kind of energy also. And you know, the Pluto was about power and control. Maybe you think you have control of everything. You know, you, you can do everything for everybody. You can work, work, work. You can whatever. But I think it's starting to affect you, your home life, your relationships here. So I think something needs to change there, like a rebirth. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, the Eight of Cups energy. There is something better waiting for you. Do what you know is right for you, a spiritual quest. But the Eight of Cups energy can be walking away about, from people, places, things, and situations that are no longer serving you and wa walking to something more fulfilling. So I just feel like you need to walk away from certain people, places, and things that are spreading you too thin, overworking you too much, doing too much for everybody else. I think it's really affecting your home life. And your person may be even thinking about walking away because you're never there, because you're always working, you're always helping everybody else, and you're never there for this person. And it's a strong bond here with the Four of Wands. That's my Twin Flame card, Soulmate Twin Flame card. But they may be in the energy of, well, you know what, I guess I'm not as important as I thought I was. So maybe, you know, I just need to turn my back here and walk away. That's kind of what I'm feeling. So I don't know. Let's see what's going on here <clears throat> for you. For you, Cancer. All right. Let's see. I want to say thank you to all those who have um, supported me in the channel. Thank you. Thank you. And as a big thank you and for reaching 10,000 subscribers, which I did probably two, three weeks ago. Um, I'm having a giveaway if you had not heard already. So if you're interested in the giveaway, you can win a free tarot deck by me. I will do a free 20 minute reading of your choice by me with that deck. And then I'll send you that deck. So if you're interested in entering the giveaway, um, check the description box below in the top pinned comment on how to enter. And if you do, good luck. All right. Cancer. What is this energy about for Cancer with this Ten of Wands, this Four of Gabriel, Four of Wands, Ten of Wands, Eight of Cups. What is this about for Cancer, please? Thank you so much for Cancer. What is this energy? Oh, we got three here. So we have the Queen of Pentacles energy. So this is, you know, this is you could definitely, Pentacles are about career finance uh, kind of energy. So this is you probably working, working, working. Seven of Cups. So feeling, you know, could be feeling a little... Oh, confused. Um, like, I feel like this is all your, your, your responsibility. It's like all the things on your plate, all the things you do in life for others, you know, working, doing things for others and having all these things that you're responsible for or that you just do out of the kindness of your heart, spreading yourself too thin, but thinking that you're the stable grounded person able to do all this, but yet your opening message was, um, hello, um, you're, you're doing too much. You need to lighten your load here. Okay. And we have the full energy. So some people may be playing you for a fool because they know that whatever you ask, whatever they ask of you, you're just going to do it. You just leap. Okay. And you just do everything for everybody. But you know, this is resetting and restarting at zero and taking a leap of faith and having like a new fresh start. So I think you need to reset back to zero. I'm not saying release every single 
responsibility or burden, but you need to lighten your load here. All right, so let's get a few more here. Yeah, knowing your value and your worth with the Empress energy. You could be a boss or um, a business owner or something like that, but, you know, this is, you know, you could have children also, so you could have family, you could have children, you could have a partner, you could have, be working, you've got friends and family you take care of or do things for, you know, and you're running around like a fool here. But with the Queen... And the Empress, it's like, know your value, your worth, and know that you don't have to spread, your, spread yourself so thin. That don't let people take advantage of you. Yeah, so here's a tower moment. So, you know, you may cause some tower moments here by saying, you know, look, I, I just can't do this. I can't do that anymore. And people may get all up in arms and they may, you know, you know, get all, you know, flustered. Like, what? What do you mean? You know, but if you want to stay stable and grounded to your Ten of Pentacles here. I feel like definitely here, this is about marriage commitment. That you definitely are married, committed, family, children, or I mean, don't necessarily have children with this person, but you do, some of you probably do have children or stepchildren or something like that. A partner, a marriage, whatever it is for you. But it's now, I feel like it's telling you here, know your value that you don't have to be this fool for others anymore. And it's time here to cause this tower moment and say, look, I'm putting up my boundaries. No more, no more, no more. And it's time to, because I think if you don't, you're going to get to a point here where you're probably just going to explode and it's not going to be pretty. And it may disrupt this 10 of pentacles here, which is your family dynamic, uh, your, you know, and it may disrupt the family here. So before that happens, I think you need to release some uh, energy here. Walk away from things, people, places, things that uh, are spreading you too thin. So it's time to think about here. What do I really need to invest in and not invest in? All right. So cancer, cancer. Let's look at your actual situation. Cancer. Wow. Okay, so we have the Queen of Cups in reverse. Queen of Cups in reverse. So yeah, <laughs> I think if you don't do this, you're going to end up in a place where you're not going to feel so happy anymore. You're not going to feel content and in a good place. You may get very emotional energy also. Yeah, and here's your marriage commitment of some kind. You may get very emotional or snappy with your person because this is about marriage commitment. So, you know, it may start affecting your marriage here. You may start feeling very emotional, unhappy, sad, uh, needy kind of energy also. Seven of Wands. Yeah, sneaking away energy. You can have sneaky people around you just taking advantage of you. They know how faithful you are. They know how good you are and some people may be taking advantage of you with the seven of swords energy yeah <laughs> conflict here conflict here so i feel like i feel like there may be people around you that if they don't get what you want they put up a fight it could be children it could be just like needy friends and family or something like that and if you don't give them what they want they you know tend to cause fights arguments here you know, sneaky behavior. I think, you know, they know of your good nature with the Hierophant here and how trusted you are and how faithful you are to your friends and your family. And I think you have people around you taking advantage of you, unfortunately. All right, so let's see. Ace of Cups. So this is a brand new beginning. So this is divinely guided brand new beginning. It could be, a, I'm not getting like a brand new beginning in love, a, you know, faith, spirituality, uh, peace, harmony, joy, um, kind of energy. So, you know, I just think here that you can have this total like new beginning for yourself of peace, harmony, joy, happiness, where you feel fulfilled in every way. You may feel like you're fulfilled right now, but it's just constantly go, go, go energy. And I feel like people taking advantage of you. And if you really stop for a minute and think about it, 
you may realize maybe deep down how unhappy the situation is really making you. And if you stand up for yourself here and stop some of this energy, you'll feel much more fulfilled in life, especially with your home life, your family, your partner. All right, so let's get that one on the floor. Advice for you, Cancer. So this did come out in reverse. We have the magician in reverse. So <clears throat> that's not able to manifest anything new in your life. I feel like you're so bogged down by everything else that there may be new things that you want to do, want to try, uh, new experiences, new hobbies, new whatever here, and you're not able to do anything for yourself, manifest anything new for yourself because you're too busy doing everything. You could have people around you manipulating you too especially with the Seven of Swords here and the Magician in Reversed. Taking advantage of your good nature. All right, so what's the advice here? Yeah. So we have a toxic energy here with the devil. Toxic energy. So yeah, I feel like especially attached to the Seven of Swords, definitely people here really like attached to you, taking advantage of you, manipulating you, could be lying, stealing, cheating, whatever here, causing conflict if they don't get what they want, kind of like I'm getting like a bratty energy, <laughs> could even be, you know, your adult children or your teenage kids or just some very needy family or friends kind of energy. But now we have the eight of pentacles, which is about, it's time to work on yourself. Think about you, yourself, in your home, in your family, and it's time just to concentrate on you. In your family all right so and maybe they see how much of a hard worker you are and how you know maybe you're kind of well off and they're like oh you know she's got she's got the goods over here nine of wands it's time to stand up for yourself and defend yourself and fight for yourself with the nine of wands energy it's time to put up a wall and some barriers here against uh, some situations, people, places, and things here, especially with this devil and the magician in reverse, that is not, not a good energy. Connected to the Seven of Swords? Nope. Nope. <clears throat> it's time to put up barriers, defend yourself, block, block, block those. Think of you, yourself, your family. And it's time to release some of these people, places, and things that are no longer serving you. So let's get outcome for you. Wow, we have here, we have the King of Swords, King or Queen, doesn't matter. So this is seen with truth and clarity. Taking this sword, he's got his sword in hand, King or Queen, doesn't matter, male or female. He's ready to swing it, cut those ties that are no longer serving him. He's ready to tell it like it is. Stand up for himself, not backing down. Communicating with truth, clarity. Sometimes it can be a little cold or harsh, especially if it was in reverse, but it's not. So, you know, that's your advice. That's a possible outcome. So you may be in this energy of, okay, yeah, you may be a little trapped, mentally trapped about this, but you can get out of that at any time. You're not really bound. It's of your own doing. But you can. I feel like you may be trapped in your head, but I think you will finally break yourself free and, and gain this clarity A cut way energy no longer serving you somebody's not trustworthy around you i don't feel like it's anybody in your immediate home life i feel like people around you co-workers friends extended family or maybe even like older adult children or something like that and i'm not saying to eliminate the children out of your life but maybe it's time to set up boundaries and maybe some tough love is needed because something is keeping you stuck. But you're going to gain that clarity here and use that sword. Here I feel five of cups. So this is sadness, loss. So you may lose some friends or maybe even some family or co-workers over this. But you're still going to have those who are good to you, faithful to you, that are trustworthy and honest. So you may lose, but you still have those around you that you can trust, that do love you, that have your best interests at heart. You just need to let go of the spilled ones and turn around and only connect with the ones here that 
you know, they fill your cup and you fill theirs. It's an equal give and take. But something def definitely needs to change here with the five. So I feel like you'll make that change. You'll get out of this blocked energy and you'll use that sword to do what you need to do. And we have the five of pentacles. Yeah, feeling uh, you may leave some people out in the cold here. May give them the old boot and the booty, booty, boot out. Being stressed and worried about this. You may even have some adult children that are latched onto you and you may just decide here to boot them out. <laughs> You may be stressed, worried, you know, fear, anxiety over this and worried about them. But, uh, you know, it's time to concentrate on you and your soulmate and your family and your love. And I think you've been waiting this out for a very long time here. This has been going on for a while. You know, and, you know, you may feel a little heartbroken about sending this communication out. But it needs to happen and it needs to happen now. And again, you know, standing up, fighting, not backing down, setting those he he um, boundaries up. Because over here, it's about, you know, the nine of wands, you've also been through it. You've been through struggles and battles with these situations. So <clears throat> I feel like here we have, let's see, over the signs, we have Gemini. We have, let's see, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We have Aries, Scorpio. We have um, Libra and Taurus. We have Aquarius. We have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have Taurus, uh, Capricorn, Gemini, Virgo, Gemini, uh, Libra, Aquarius. So those are the signs, major signs I see. So let's get some closing messages for you, Cancer. Cancer. I feel like it's time to do a major, major, like, life cleanup here. And it's for your own betterment. It's for your own good, for you, your family, you know, your loved one, and your home life. Cancer. Okay, so let's get some closing messages with this Cancer. I do ask Cancer, especially if you're new. You can check out my channel. If you like what you see, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read your comments. Hit the bell. You won't miss out. You get about five readings a month right now. I do two love, do general, a bonus. I may be switching it up. But if you head on over to my community tab on my channel, I have two polls I would like everyone to vote in on what readings you would like to see per month. And I have been thinking about doing extendeds on Vimeo. So if everyone would please go vote in those, I would really appreciate it. So let's see. Cancer, cancer. All right. Letting go. Exactly. It's time here to let go of situations, people, places, things that are weighing you down, burning you down, and just uh, depleting your energy. And we have here make music. So it's time to make music in your life. It's time to, you know, do things that make you happy again. It's time to make music with you, your loved one, your home life. I feel like you've been too, so weighed down, you haven't had a time to enjoy things in life. And if you are a musician, it's time to get back into that for some of you. And we have here, look inside yourself. So again, look inside yourself, knowing what you need to do. Knowing that your answers can come from within. Doing that deep down soul searching work, journey work, introspection kind of energy. My nose is getting really, really plugged up all of a sudden. Okay, so, Cancer, let's get a closing prayer affirmation for you, Cancer. All right, what is the closing? Wow, that was fast. Faith can move mountains. So just have faith, hope, and optimism that you can have the power here to do what you need to do in this uh, big, major, I feel, life cleanup, I feel. It's time. Okay, Cancer, that was your reading. Best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.